Number 13, want us to simplify the square root of negative 10. Well, that's simply a negative 1. That's what the negative piece is. 10 is just a 2 and 5, so there's no pair. Nobody's going to come out. The negative 1 will come out as an i, so when we're left with i root 10. Okay, the negative will always come out as an i. Here we have a negative 2, so that we know this is negative 1 times 2 times a, 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 a. Okay, negative 1 is coming out as an I, you have an A coming out, you have another A coming out, so you're just left with A squared, I, root 2. And finally, it says the opposite. Okay, so whatever comes out, we'll just have a negative out in front, no big deal. Negative 8 is a negative 1 times 2 times 2 times 2, A, 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 B, 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 B. A lot of things there, but no big deal. Negative 1 comes out as an I. A 2 is going to come out, so we'll end up with a negative 2 out there because there's a negative sign already there. An A is coming out. A B, another B, another B. So how many is that coming out? B cubed. So we have A. Excuse me. We're going to start off with negative 2 out front, the number out front first. Negative 2, A, B cubed. Then our little I, imaginary number, Root, who is left behind a 2 and an A, and that's it. Piece of cake.